Good morning, YouTube. It's 10 a.m. in the great state of Texas, and we're doing a color pencil bowl in today's project because I made one of these a couple of months back. You might have seen that one, and I decided, you know what? We're going to try to do it again because the previous bowl did not come out the way I had envisioned it, and I have all this scrap wood that I need to try to get rid of. So I'm going to make another attempt at making another pencil, uh, colored pencil bowl. And uh, just FYI, in case uh, you were wondering, it's not going to turn out exactly how I envisioned. So all we're doing here is circling up three pieces of scrap pine board that we're going to cut down, and then we're going to sandwich them together, put some colored pencils in there, and see if we can make a bowl out of it. And here I am, yes, I know, do not use gloves while working with a table saw because it could cut your fingers off. But I am not a good word a good woodworker and wouldn't recommend following my example. So just to save us some time, we're gonna cut off the edges here using the bandsaw. And I need to really invest in getting a better bandsaw because this one is great. I've had it for almost six years, but it's just not cutting the way that I want to, and I think I probably need to get a new blade. That would probably help. So probably not the bandsaw, it's probably more me. But got these edges of this pine board off really good. Uh, not a whole lot of issues here. And again, yes, I know don't wear gloves while around machinery. I have yet to learn that lesson. So unpackaging all these cool uh, color pencils and color pencils are awesome. I've seen plenty of people do projects on the on YouTube using these to make different you know pots and different tables and all that. But uh, on a budget, you can uh, kind of just layer them up and just use one layer for kind of the effect that I'm going for. So I made sure to have plenty of pencils for this one. The bad news is it's going to be kind of uh, a little wonky and I wanted to save some pencils so I ended up cutting some on the bandsaw, that's what you saw there. And we're just going to lay these out nice and neat and then we're going to sandwich them in between those two other pine boards. Don't be stingy with your glue. If you notice here I'm wearing shorts and a short sleeve t-shirt because it's West Texas and during this time it was nice and warm and that was like three or four weeks ago when I initially started this project and by the end of it it's not going to be the same so here we are just sandwiching everything up using their grips don't be stingy with those you could always use one more clamp that's a great thing about woodworking you could always use one more of these things so just going to sandwich those in between and then we're going to do my favorite part which is the squeeze out of all that glue we're going to leave this in there for literally three or four weeks and there's the glue over those colored pencils and it looks really cool i was like yep that's going to work really really well but uh, here in about three or four weeks when I get these out of the clamps because I was doing other projects I uh, finally got around to doing this one so the glue was not the issue we let it set up for more than a couple of weeks so what is going to happen here is going to be a surprise not only to me but to uh, the universe because I'm like what in the world's going on so literally like four weeks later we took them out the glues all dried up the colored pencils look really good and notice I'm wearing a sweatshirt and pants because you know why it's raining it's like 55 degrees in texas right now uh but the weather changes every 10 minutes so i'm gonna get the face plate on here not a whole lot of issues with this part and i'm thinking this is gonna be it, 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 it blah, blah, blah. i can't talk it was a very easy project to do but you're gonna see i'm gonna have some screw-ups because that's just what i do and here we are already having problems with the face plate not going on the way that i want it to uh, but don't worry, that's just that's just normal for the channel, I guess, if you watch my projects long enough. So here we go. Here I am initially trying to put that on, but the colored pencils are getting in the way, obviously. So I'm like, okay, gotta fix that. So put that on the top of the headstock there, and then I gotta take a hand saw and start cutting these things down because it's just getting in the way. So we we've, we've already got problems. So I'm like, okay, it's not a big deal. We're just gonna cut these down. And then it'll be able to spin, and we'll be able to get that on, and it won't be an issue. But we're going to have problems because that's just what happens. But it goes on nice and smooth. it got a nice spin to it. And just by looking at that footage, the amount of wobble that was on this thing was just insane. So I couldn't put the banjo all the way to the left near the headstock, so I had to like push out the tailstock so that it could like kind of stabilize it. But man, right off the bat, I already had all these colored pencils like coming off. The glue, I guess, didn't adhere well enough, or like just the wobble and the violence of this thing spinning 
was just enough to where it was just pieces were just coming off so didn't have a lot of success with the uh, round carbide tool so a lot of this was done with the square carbide and I just had to come back take my time and even though I was spinning it down and the wobble kind of went away the violence and the shaking didn't stop like it was wobbling a little bit but I, I thought it had detached from the faceplate initially because it was just wobbling so violently and I'm like good grief but uh, I got a majority of it down. It didn't end up being as wide as I wanted it to, but I'm like, okay, we got problems. The colored pencil's already popping out. And for some reason, the big gaps in the middle, like there were good, that was all right. And then just, I don't know what the hell happened to those. They just delodged spontaneously. So I'm like, okay, screw it. We're gonna work through the problem. So we're just gonna go ahead and make mortise and then we'll flip this over, start the gouging portion of it. And then we won't have any real issues here. But this part went relatively smooth, not a whole lot of problems. Got it on the first try, just real shallow on this one. And then we're going to take the face plate off and see what we got left to work with here. And I'm like, okay, cool. It's it's a bowl. It's not pretty, but I'm like, okay, it's it's going to work for what I want it to be. And then we're just trying again, just to get everything nice and even, because once you flip it onto the uh, ten, or not the tenon, but the mortise, it's still a little wonky. So. I'm still going, what in the world is going on with my lathe? Because it's just, it's still violently shaking. You can't tell from the video, but I can feel it on the chisels. You can see the tail stock there just vibrating. And I'm just like, oh, okay, we just need to fix this. But working with pine, the good thing is it's really easy and smooth. This part really didn't give me a lot of issues other than the, the uh, actual piece catching on the actual chisel itself, which was kind of concerning because I know my lathe is on its last legs. I've had it for almost six years and it's just, I, I have put this thing through a lot of abuse and this is a larger piece for this lathe and I'm like, oh my gosh, just hold out a, a little bit longer for me uh, is what I'm saying to myself. But got the gouging port part over and now we're gonna start seeing where the colored pencils kind of come out. And it looks really cool on camera and I was like, all right, cool, it's, it's working out. And I noticed the larger gaps on the edges of the bowl, so that's why we didn't go as wide on this one, is because there were so many gaps, I didn't want that to be exposed on the center portion of the bowl. So I just kind of made this oblong lip of it, uh, uh, I can't talk, of the bowl, and decided that's all I was gonna do with it. So it looks really cool here, you can see all the colors, and then we're just gonna sand it just a little bit, going 50 grit all the way up to 120. Uh, and then just smoothing it out before we get to the classic salty Texas move with pine board, which if you haven't guessed already, uh, you're about to find out here in just a little bit. So looks in, looking pretty good. These are all the shavings that were with it, just regular pine shavings. Come off really, really cool looking. I'm gonna save some of those for a project for later. And the colored pencils look really good, except for these large, disgusting gaps that are in there as the camera would focus but the center of the bowl looks pretty cool for what I want it to be so we're gonna clean up the workshop and then we're gonna move on to phase two of this project and here we go and my dumbass put paper painting tape on the edges just so that it wouldn't melt the crayon so it wouldn't melt the actual pencil and here I am trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time and then realizing oh shit the the tape's setting on fire and I'm like Damn it, I didn't think that through. It's something that should have been so obvious. I was like, why the hell did you put paper tape and then try to burn it? Try not to burn it. And it was just a it was just a damn mess. But my dumbass kept on going. I'm like, oh my god, here I am trying to burn the pine and try to save most of the project, but it just kept going. I was like, you know what, just play through. We're just gonna see what it looks like. Screw it, you're already this far in. And then I'm just burning the edges there, trying to save it, try not to catch my fingers on fire. And here I am realizing I have melted the tape on top of the of the bowl, which was just stupid. And admittingly, I'm like, okay, I screwed up, and it won't peel because it's already melted. So I'm gonna have to, you know, come up with a knife. And I'm like, that's not working. So I'm gonna have to move on to uh, another plan here because it just screwed up this really good looking bowl. And there it is just stuck everywhere. So what I ended up having to do was take my uh, smaller carbide tools, my micro carbide tools, and just getting that edge off and just taking the tape and just peeling it off with the chisel itself while trying to maintain that cool char look. Because the char look really looks cool on it. It just ended up not 
turning out as well as I initially wanted to. And then I had to come back with a larger carbide tool and just basically get that char off as much as possible and try to save this. And then as, in spite of me trying to do that, I'm going to have more problems here with a piece flying off that totally just kind of screwed up the aesthetic of what the bowl was supposed to be. And you can see all the crayons and colors coming off on my glove there. I'm like, okay, just, just save it. And there's one of those pink pieces that I had to come back and end up gluing that in there. So I managed to salvage that, but you can still see some of the gaps coming off from where those previous pencils were. And then the glue is all, you know, frozen because it's cold here in Texas right now. So save that piece. And I'm like, okay, just, just play, play through. We're almost done. So got the lacquer out. I was going to do epoxy with it, but it's so cold here in Texas that the epoxy wouldn't have set up for what I wanted it to do. So I sprayed it with some lacquer and you can still get that cool effect with it. So it looks pretty good. Not the greatest bowl, not the greatest project, still similar problems from the other one that we did, but we are definitely 100% going to come back and do this project again uh, because I'm not going to quit. This looks better than the previous one, but I still want to come back and do it again. So hope you guys liked it. Hope you got something out of it and uh, we will be back with it. All right. See you in the next one. Peace. All right, so project is done, and this guy did not turn out the way I envisioned. Just like so many other projects on this channel. You can see there's a gap there, there's a gap right there, right, right there. And then there's one right there too. So, it looks cool, the idea looks okay, just maybe the execution, and I totally did not think out Paper tape, dumbass, it's gonna catch fire. So, just like all the other projects I always say, you gotta learn from your mistakes. And I show all the mistakes on the channel. And that was a huge one. I just, I totally just, I didn't, I didn't think it would catch fire that easy. Paper tape, duh, should. But anyway, project's done. It's not too bad. It looks a little cooler than the other one. Uh, we did a project like this a couple of weeks, or actually almost a year ago like this, but uh, I might come back and fix it, but I think for right now, it's it's okay for what it is. Uh, but we'll try it with the next attempt. Well, eventually, we're going to get this right. But hope you liked it. Hope you got something out of it. Today is uh, April 20th. You guys are watching this tomorrow on the 21st. So I uh, hope everybody's doing good out there. It's 420. So uh, yeah, do with that with what you will. All right. So I'll see you in the next one. All right. Peace.